How's it going everyone? Swanky Cupcake here and welcome to my very first Blender series tutorial. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a shirt. You know, it's not going to be a very detailed one, it's just going to be a base mesh. It's not going to be hyper realistic or anything like that. Now for the character, I since I'm terrible at modeling characters, I decided to import one from Daz Studio. So let's get started. What we're going to do is uh, hit one to go, hit one on the numpad to go into the front perspective, then hit five to switch it to orthographic. Now just to smooth out the smooth out the faces on her, we're going to apply a modifier uh, the subdivision surface. Now from here we will hit shift A, add a mesh, cube. Now I'm going to hit shift tab just to turn on the snapping so it will snap to the grids each time you move it. Let's bring it to about right there. Hit Z to go into wireframe mode. S to scale. Z to scale on the Z axis. We're going to scale it up to about right there. Uh, bring it up to about there. Scale X. And bring it out to about right there. We're going to hit 3 to go into the right orthographic, scale Y, 5. Uh, I should actually shrink this up just a little bit, so scale Z, there, bring it back up. Oh. Yeah, alright, there we go. Uh, to slow down the, the movements, it would hold shift. Now we're going to hit tab to go into the edit mode. Control R to make a loop cut. Uh, A to deselect. C to go. C to uh, equip this selection tool. You know, use the mouse wheel to increase the size or decrease it. Then we're going to left mouse click to grab these vertices here. Click X to delete the vertices. Now we're going to add a mirror modifier, and this will literally have the amount of work you have to do. Now from here, control R again, mouse wheel up until you get a uh, say about mm, 10 to 15 cuts. We're just going to do 10 just to speed up the process a little bit. You want to zoom in, A, deselect, C, and you want to drag it out until it lines up with the mesh of your character. So we're just going to do this real quick. Alright, now I'll hit 3 to go into the right orthographic, and we'll do the same thing. Alright, so now we're right here. Actually, what we want to do right now is select these two faces right here, X, and delete faces. Now we'll go to the front, Control R, and we'll bring it up to three cuts on, e on both sides. Alright, we want to select these, to select a 
row or column of vertices or faces, whatever one you have selected, you hold Alt, then right mouse click. If you want to select multiple at a time, hold Control and then press the plus key on the numpad. So we'll select these and delete the vertices. Select these, deselect that vertice, W, then bridge ed lo edge loops. Add a loop cut right there. We'll come over here and bridge, nope, oh, bridge edge loops. Select this one, delete vertices. Actually, hold on. I forgot to put a loop cut right there. Right, delete the vertices, bridge edge loops, add a loop cut right there, then you want to loop cut right there, you want to select these vertices and merge them, and I just do that along the entire way. And I also do it to the front. There we go. And you want to take these and uh, pull them out above the mesh. Pull them out so they're not inside the mesh. So add a loop cut right there. Just ignore that. That's good enough for right now. Just mainly want to work on uh, around the arm. Uh, control tab to choose, bring up this little uh, window to select which ones you want to start doing, whether it be vertex, edge, or face. We're going for face right now. Hit C. You want to select these faces and these faces except for these ones. Alright, X, delete faces. And come down here, control R, add a loop cut right there. Vertex select. There we go, make it a little bit more round. Alright, well, let's uh, pull these out. That way, not in the mesh. And just apply loop cuts wherever you'll need them. Actually, Control Z will undo anything you do. Alright, that's good enough for right now. Uh, Alt and right click, select those. Seven to go above. We'll just do a t shirt. Uh, w, loop tools, and circle. Scale on the Z axis. Bring that down. There we 
go. A couple loop cuts. I want to select these. Uh, dissolve edges. I want to select the face. Loop the face. Uh, loop cut right there. Then merge those two together. Alright, looking pretty good so far. And now let's do a quick little uh, touch up for the next part. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, want to go back to the modifiers, add modifier shrink wrap and subdivision surface. I'm going to click on this little uh, just edit cage. That way you're always viewing the cage for uh, subdivision. Uh, keep above surface. Offset. Let's go 0.3. And then target your, your character. And let's uh, sh shading smooth. Uh, Alright, we'll adjust that later on. Alright, then from right here you can start adjusting the mesh around the character. So if you want the neck to be, go down a little bit, you just slowly adjust it until you get to the point where you want it to be. Now let's apply some loop cuts around the chest. Let's delete these ones, so vertices. Uh, and we'll just apply a couple of loop cuts in some areas. Let's extrude. I extrude right there in case you want to add like the collar of the shirt. You can do the same with the ends and here. So now you got some spaces to apply different textures or colors or whatever you want to do with the shirt. Alright. So we're going to come down over here. Actually, we got to leave edit mode the shrink wrap and it might mess up the mesh a little bit but it doesn't really do anything so G X you just push them together and if they go out like that it's fine just go the other way all right now let's fill this up so let's delete let's uh, get rid of those ones W bridge Something's not right. Alright, so the mirror modifier. So just extrude X, then bring them together. Uh, put an edge loop right there. Then you'll just merge them together. And now it isn't too, you know, pressed in between the, the breasts. And then just add a little bit of realism. Grab right there. Uh, let's turn on proportional editing connected. So pulled in about. It's a uh, turn off snapping. Yeah, just pulled in just a little bit. Then we'll go around and. Oh, my bad. And just go around and pull everything out just so it's not clipped into the mesh. Alright, if you hold shift and then grab onto one of the axes, it excludes that one and only pulls it on the ones that you didn't grab. So I'm holding shift and grabbing the z-axis. Now it'll only move on the x and y. Well, so we'll just quickly do this.
And by the time you do that, you'll have a shirt that looks like this. If you want to go through and flatten out everything, you know, it's optional. You'll hit W, go to Loop Tools, Flatten, and just do those until there are no more along the torso. So about right there. Then you'll just retouch up. And this is just a tutorial for a quick little shirt. You know, not very detailed, but, you know, it works. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you have any suggestions or want to learn something, leave it down as a comment, uh, and I'll see you all next time.